we started this in Lexington in 2004. So what's that, what's that 15, 16 years now? And um, we started out as just kind of a little local thing uh, for inventors and entrepreneurs. And then it sort of turned into sort of a state thing, then a regional thing. My watershed moment was uh, one of the uh, few years back when we did it in 2015. And I was going around to all of the exhibit booths, to all of the inventors that had projects and inventions and products. And there was a couple of uh, young guys there and they were all excited. I said, guys, I'm so glad that you guys are here. Where are you all from? And they said, oh, we came in from Nebraska. And that was when I knew that this had really kind of become something uh, uh, for inventor, you know, right here in Lexington. And um, so when the pandemic hit, we thought, well, we're just going to rip the silver lining out of the dark cloud of COVID. And we are going to make this a 100% virtual event. And it has turned into now... Uh, a three-day event. We're going to have 30 speakers. Uh, it is a, um, a world-class speakers. We're, we're having people from uh, all over the country that's coming to us uh, for this. And um, uh, it's really turning into a world-class event. 100% uh, digital. Anyone can uh, attend from their office or their, their living room or, or just wherever they want. Uh, and uh, we're going to have all of these different speakers uh, from all over. We uh, uh, just to um, just to name a few. We've got um, uh, Stephen Key, and he is uh, probably one of the foremost licensing uh, experts in the country. He he is author of the uh, very popular uh, best-selling book uh, One Simple Idea. Uh, we've got uh, HSN and QVC uh, 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 product uh, host uh, Marcy McKenna. Uh, we've got Rob Angel. He's the inventor of Pictionary. If you know, if you're familiar with the Pictionary game, uh, Lewis Foreman, uh, the uh, president of uh, Edison Nation, uh, Woody Norris, the inventor of the Bola Wrap. We've got uh, Andrea Iyanku. He is the former director of the U.S. Patent Office. So we've got all of these really, really great names, and they're all coming to us online uh, on May 6th through 8th. This is for people who may have a great idea. I mean, what are the people that can benefit from this InventorCon? I'll have a lot of people ask me, they say, well, Don is InventorCon for me. And it really, it's for inventors, it's for entrepreneurs, it's for anybody who's really ever had an idea and asked, what if? Could I turn this into something? Could I take this idea I've got? Could I um, uh, mix it with the right opportunity, some sound wisdom that I could learn from other people and turn it into a real product or business. And that's, that's, that's why we created InventorCon. And what advice would you have to people who may have a good idea? You know, what are some of the mistakes that people often make that could help these people maybe get their idea launched? Uh, a lot, there's a lot of inventors that we'll see come in to our doors over the years. And, and a lot of them have just misconceptions. They think, all I have to do is take my napkin sketch and show up on Shark Tank. And we're going to have people that have been successful on Shark Tank. Nothing wrong with Shark Tank. But at the, uh, they think all I have to do is just show this to somebody and I'm going to be an instant millionaire. Or, I, or I'm going to rush out and get a patent and I'm going to be an instant millionaire. And that's not how it works. It's a process. And there's a lot of different things that you do. I always say you put three things into an invention. You put time, you put money, but you put this third element, this thing called wisdom. And if you don't have the wisdom first, you'll likely take that time and that money and you'll spend them in the wrong places. What? Just give us a few of the coolest inventions that have come from people here in the bluegrass. Well, uh, where I'm at right now, this backdrop, all these cool whiteboards you see behind me, uh, this is actually one of our inventors, Bennett Gatto. He's got a company called Active Therapy Systems, and they've actually developed or are developing a technology to help people with Parkinson's disease. They're engaging their brain and their uh, physical activity at the same time, and, uh, and, and they're, uh, they've just won a National Science Foundation uh, grant to uh, further develop the technology and, and they've taken off with it. Uh, that, and we see everything like that and all the way down to everything from complex medical products down to simple garden tools. And we've really seen the gamut. Uh, uh, we've, we've had uh, one inventor that uh, he uh, worked on lawnmowers. He, he, he worked at, I think he worked at IBM, but he just loved on the weekends to work on lawnmowers. And he always found this real just nagging problem of this grass that would just cake up underneath a lawnmower and you'd have, you'd have to clean it out. And he came up with this tool that could clean it all out in under a minute. It's a little, little hand tool 
tool and we watched him sell out at, uh, at, at one of the hardware shows uh, that, that he went to. So uh, there's the success stories are there. You just have to follow the right process to get there.